Yes guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to farm up over 10,000 crystals after the recent 2.15 update we got in Dragon Ball Legends. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is it, Saiyan. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today! So let's start off in the event section. As you can see, we do have a few events right here. The Vegito Rising Battle is back, but I suspect everyone has this completed already. If you don't and you're brand new to the game, get this done because you will have a lot of crystals to farm up in there. Then we have the Return of Cooler Battle Tower, which is a 50 stage event, of course, that gives you um, 1000 Corona Crystals. Uh, there is a bug in this event right now where it does tell you that every five stages you don't have enough energy to complete it, and it takes you back to the home screen or the, uh, the title screen, should I say. And uh, that's something that they're working on fixing at the moment. It's something that's very annoying, but you're just going to have to put up with it for now. Um, it does work every now and then. Like if you log in half an hour from now and you try the stage you're on, it might work, um, but it might not. That's just the way it is. And uh, just give it time. Let's hope they fix that. But that is 1,000 crystals that you can get in that event. We also have the Ultra Space Time Rush, which of course does reset every two weeks. Um, it last reset yesterday um, on Wednesday. Uh, so that's another 500 crystals that you can get very easily from there. We do have this event which doesn't give you any crystals at all, but it's something that you should be doing anyway, because it does give you a few Z power for, um, for the units in there. Now these events right here I think everyone has completed, but we do have these ones down here. The Vegeta, the Nappa, and the Freezer ones, which are the Zenkai Extreme units that give you loads of crystals, and if you complete every stage, you get 41 crystals per stage, which in the end adds up to 690 crystals. That's a lot of crystals in total. And not just that, they give you crystals from missions as well. So the Vegeta one, for example, which is the newest one, I haven't even started it. And I'm going to be able to get 700 crystals in total just from clearing the stages and all the challenges in there. Um, and then we have special missions as well, which right now, as you can see, they say it says it's locked. Um, they aren't really. Um, it's another bug that's in the game right now. We're just going to have to wait until they fix that. But a, a temporary fix is to just log out and uh, log back in until they are unlocked and you'll be able to clear them. But you can get a few crystals here and there. This one right here, the um, Eliminate the Earthlings event, does have a few crystals you can get in there. And from the missions, there's a lot of crystals to get from that event. So let's jump into the mission section. Let's talk about how many crystals there are to get because this is where the juicy stuff come into play. As you know, we do have the mission um, plans out now. You can choose between three mission plans uh, depending on your play style if you play a lot or if you don't play much, or if you're just a casual player, it depends on what you want to do, you can choose a different mission plan. If you've chosen one that you think is wrong for you, you can um, choose a different one after the 12 days um, expire, as you can see up here, it says there's 12 days left. Um, but these are the uh, um, missions or the challenges that we have to complete. Um, for this mission plan, I have p uh, chosen the Battle Lovers plan, which is the hardest one, and of course you get crystals for this as well, and there is a premium version to this battle pass. Um, which I do recommend buying if you are, you know, pay to play, if you can afford it, I do recommend it, even if it is the $8 that it will be in the future. Um, this first time it cost us $4, which is very, very cheap for 1.5k crystals. If you do not have this event, um, or if you don't have the funds to buy that, of course, you can just um, use, use the free to play one, which is right here, the one on the right, which you will get um, 500 crystals from anyway. Um, and this resets every two weeks, so you will get 1,000 crystals a month completely free. Um, or if you buy the premium one, you'll get more, which is very, very good. Uh, then, of course, we have um, more stuff down here. We have this um, Legends Festival countdown, uh, which is basically 350 crystals that you can get very, very easily just from playing a bunch of things in there. And, uh, yeah, I recommend clearing that, of course. Very, very easy to do. Uh, just clearing a bunch of stuff that it says in there, and uh, you will get those crystals very easily. This event is the one I was talking about. It has 900 crystals from in here that we can get, plus what you get from the actual event itself. You will end up getting over 1,000 crystals, so that is very, very good to see. Um, and I'm very happy that they've added this, because that's just... You know, an extra amount of crystals that no one expected to get. Then, of course, we have the Return of Cooler event, like I said. That's 1,000 crystals. The Prince of Fate event, which is the one I said before, that has 700 crystals available in the event itself. It has an extra 1,000 from the missions, which is just very easy to do once you complete everything. And you get this um, Vegeta to Zenkai 7, you will have the full 1,000 crystals. The Adventures give you 200, which is very, very good, very standard, and it's very easy to do. 
Um, the Goku Zenkai is back, and that's available for everyone that hasn't got him uh, completed yet. So make sure you go and do this. It's available in the special events tab. So go and do that if you don't have him done uh, and finish him off because it is easier than ever to do that. And uh, these Legends missions I'm going to talk about at the end um, just because it's where the most crystals are and it's where I want to talk about more in depth. The monthly missions, of course, gives you 300. Uh, it's something that's very easy to do. Just play anything and you'll end up getting them. Just read the missions that are in there. And it's very simple. It's just a bunch of stuff that gives you energy, some skip tickets, and some crystals. The co-op is actually very good this time because it gives you um, crystals 50 at a time and not 20 at a time. So you do get crystals quicker, uh, which is a very good uh, change that they made there. And, of course, we've got the PvP missions that give you... Um, a few crystals every um, time that resets so that's 300 crystals there and then down here of course there are some crystals here and there you can, that you can farm up like I have 70 in here for example and um, down here is the one that I really wanted to talk about because no one has talked about this but there's 300 crystals just lying in here that I haven't even seen anyone talk about so yeah these um, crystals are very easy to get I imagine it's just getting uh, 50 equipment items of each of these uh, for 200 crystals and then just uh, inflicting 2.5 million damage with rising rush which is very simple so that's something that everyone can do very easy to get those 300 crystals right there um, so yeah as you can see loads of crystals to get guys um, so many so many crystals and then of course like I said these ones right here um, 3.5k available from here now I only have 1.4 available now because I did claim 2.1k which was sitting there waiting for me and a lot of people have asked me how to unlock this well it's very simple all you have to do is um, complete the go for it intermediate missions that have the Goku blue on the front of the cover uh, there's 26 missions that you have to complete first um, before you get the key to unlock these and then these are just missions that you can just chip away at you complete the story mode um, parts one till three and then you just clear all the challenges in the story as you can see here uh, you need to complete a lot of them to get all the crystals but that's something you could just chip away at same thing with this right here getting um rank five friendship on 20 characters or you know 50 characters like it says that's going to take time but it's something we can just chip away at and it's something to grind towards so we're always going to have crystals to uh, to get here so that's 3.5k crystals that we can get from there another thing that a lot of people aren't really talking about are the presents that they're giving us every day um, from the countdown as well as you can see here 100 crystals every day that we're getting that's going to be um, basically 1000 crystals that we're going to get in total uh, so very very good change that they've um, done there well not change but just very good thing that they've done to give us crystals leading up to the big legends festival the black friday event and uh, maybe that's going to drag on until christmas we don't know but it's going to be a very very big event and another thing that people don't really do much um, to get crystals is uh, soul boosting i'm going to show you guys how many units i have soul boosted all of these characters are completely soul boosted um, except for the heroes that are down the bottom and uh, just well as you can see yeah all of my characters are pretty much soul boosted except the heroes just from completing these ones down here and um, soul boosting the heroes which take up less um, resources than the extremes and the sparkings I'm going to be able to get um, 800 crystals from that so that's something I'm going to focus on doing over the weekends when we get the souls um, boosted on, on the happy weekend kind of thing so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be focusing on that and of course the story mode if you haven't completed all of it make sure you get that done because there's a lot of crystals to farm up from there as well every star that you're missing from here um, is three crystals so take away the amount you've completed um, from the amount that's available and just multiply that by three and you'll know how many you have left if you have stages that aren't completed yet like I have in here for example uh, every stage you haven't completed is basically 41 crystals if you complete all the challenges so that's very good and while you're doing that you will be sl slowly unlocking missions from the uh, tab right here that I showed you with 3.5k so everything will work in your favor you'll be getting crystals from everything you do which is a very very good change that they've done and I think the game is in a very good spot like I said Black Friday is coming up very shortly we're going to be getting some very very big stuff we're only a week away from the reveals and stuff that they're going to be doing so yeah stay tuned for that make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new around here let me know what other videos you want i'm leading up to black friday uh, whether it be you know some guides or some you know predictions or whatever you want just let me know and i will get that video out for you guys uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this has been supreme and i'll catch you next time peace